welcome. This is the Modern Geek Podcast. Coming at you live. Please subscribe through YouTube or Twitch. Hope you enjoy the show. Hey guys, this is the Modern Geek, also known as Vent Mario, and we're going to be doing another unboxing. Some Trap Team members. Recently, we got some new Trap Team figures that hit the market. Um, a few of the new core Skylanders. We're also going to be doing some older uh, opens, so stay tuned for that. But I wanted to do an unboxing today of Fling Kong, which is one of our new core Skylanders from Trap Team. Um, he's going to be an air elemental Trap Master, so I'll give you the full rundown of him. So, whoops. So I'll give you guys the front graphic and then a sort of tilt box of the figure. And he is Fling Kong, and his saying on the box is Monkey See, Monkey Doom. And again, he is an air element. And at this point, I think he rounds out all of our new ones. This is the last of the element uh, newer core skylighters. Excuse me. Um, pretty cool. And then the back of the box, Skylanders Trap Team gives you a little thing. So my little primer, as I do on these videos, for you folks that are not necessarily fans of Skylanders Trap Team, maybe checking it out for the first time. Uh, so Skylanders Trap Team is a toy to life game. So you take, this is an example of another Skylander, Enigma that we've unboxed before. You take a toy, you put it on a base, and then you can you play as that character in the adventure and in the world. Um, so Skylanders is an adventure game, so it has a main storyline that you play through. Uh, it has little mini games and challenges that you can do, uh, and you basically level up this character and you can equip some items to the character, and that's your character. And of course, all of the toys are cross platform. So if I wanted to take my Skylander over to my friend's house, I could play with the character that I've cultivated and created and leveled up. Um, and what's cool about all of our Toy to Life games, and they all pretty much follow this streamline, Nintendo being the one on ball, of course, um, is that all of the toys from your previous game or version are going to be compatible with your next version. So currently this is the fourth installment of Skylanders. So we're on the fourth game. Um, and so all of the toys from the first game, all of the toys from the second and third will be compatible with the fourth. Um, you can't take new toys and play with old games. So, um, and that kind of makes sense because they can't, you know, they're, they, they have just as, as much room as they do to put in things. Um, and they can't really go back and recode in an old game that didn't have the character to begin with, the character. So it kind of makes sense. Um, but it's awesome because then that means your collection can keep going forward with you, which is pretty cool. Um, and that is Trap Team. Uh, and then we can take a look at the back, and that's just kind of visually telling the story of what I said, which is you take the toy, you put it on a base, it becomes a thing. And then it gives you the in-game for him, and it says 60, and I'm gonna read this to you, 60 Skylanders to collect, so 60 new ones in this fourth edition of the game. And then it gives you a little roster there of the air elementals, that giant buddy with the sword is our trap master, our air trap master and then some of the newer core Skylanders for air that were introduced. Uh, we'll be doing some unboxings, which will actually unbox that big Trap Master. Um, and it says download the app. There is a collection app, which you can keep track of all of your collected Skylanders in. Um, and then it gives you some of the fine print on the bottom. So I think without further ado, we're gonna bust this guy open. Um, and I'm looking kind of forward to this. I'm actually looking forward to the gameplay because this was one of the Skylander characters I was I kind of was intrigued by. Alrighty. And there we go. So inside the packaging. We got a few different items here. Oops. For the most part, all of them come out pretty easy. I was gonna say he actually is a little difficult to get out. I'll show you exactly why, but you want to be careful when you're taking them out because they are a little hard to get out. Him in particular is a little difficult and tricky because he has a piece 
and I'll explain that in a minute. So every Skylander uh, comes with a Skylander card, kind of the stats of the character, which are all different and unique. I've asked this in other streaming videos that I've had, and if anyone knows the answer, I would love to know if they actually have a card game or something where you can use the cards to do something. And then a sticker to go on your poster and a code to redeem it in the collector's app. That's on your mobile device, your iPad, uh, and so forth. Let me discard the box for a minute. And then without further ado, a closer look at our figure. Let me just get... Okay, let's get focused on that guy. So what I was saying before, it's tough to get him out because he is on a magic carpet. So it's kind of hard to pull it out of the packaging. But you can see, pretty cool. He's got these like air discs. He's an albino monkey on a flying carpet, which is pretty cool. Um, really nice detail. Again, that sort of animated Skylanders, the sort of anime monster characters, which are cool. Um, it's kind of a nice detail on the carpet, so they got some detail on that. Um, I will say, and this is this is kind of a this is a complaint of mine. So the scale, even for a small core Skylander, he actually feels a little small. Almost, oh, excuse me, almost as if the. Um, to kind of fit him on the carpet and everything, they had to scale down the figure a little bit. Um, I'm anxious to get him in game, to see what he plays like. But um, and also the other thing, and this is uh, Rock and Roll, which is uh, another core uh, Earth Skylander that we have. It kind of feels a little cheapy. So uh, one of the things I noticed about him, he felt very plastic, very cheap, um, and didn't feel like he was like firmly on there. I, I kind of get a little bit of that sense with this, like it has some nice detail, but it, it kind of feels a little on that side, a little less polished as some of the other Skylanders that I've seen. Um, seams are pretty good, paint's pretty good. There's a little bit of mistouch on the tail where the pants are. Um, for the most part, pretty good. <coughs> Would have been nice to have a little bit more color pass. There is a lot of texture in his like gauntlets. There's texture on the helmet. Would have been nice to have a little bit more colored variation, though. But all in all, pretty cool. And I'm looking forward to getting them in game, so. Pretty cool. Well, definitely, guys, I would love to hear your comments. Love to hear what, what your thoughts are. Is there a Skylander that you're really psyched about that's new? Um, have you maybe been chasing a Skylander but just haven't gotten them yet? Um, I'd love to hear all of that stuff and love to get to know what your journey's been like. Uh, so please leave some comments. Uh, and again, I am the Modern Geek, also known as Vant Mario. And if you like the video, please subscribe uh, and check out our other unboxing videos. We have quite a lot up there. Uh, and please check them out and subscribe to the channel. We also have our Twitch channel, which you can do and find live streaming of games. So you'll find the live gameplay on there for the Skylanders. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, as well as Disney Infinity. We do toy box building and community building, uh, as well as toy box play. So please... Uh, for Disney Infinity, if you're a Disney Infinity fan, uh, please check us out. And I will be doing uh, Splatoon playthroughs and all of that. We did some Vita playthroughs for Disney Infinity. It's all up there. Um, so check out both Twitch and YouTube. We'll see you soon, and I can't wait to see you at the next unboxing. Take care.